لك اهلا ولكيفك What's up guys? Welcome to another Mark Hashim video. You know by now that we Lebanese are very passionate and creative with our expressions. We we'll create some very flavory, savory expressions to really reach the point. And speaking of savory, things tend to revolve around food. For example, we have an expression that goes akalta, akalta. You ate it. In other words, you ate you ate shit. That's that's what you ate. Usually used when uh, things didn't really go your way. You akalta. That's what happened. Another fantastic expression we have is khla. Khla. Ah. Technically in Arabic, khla means remove, but we use it for like break it. Khla. Or, for example, since it has to do with removal, you might hear a Lebanese person say khla to kaf. Khla bidde khla o kaf. Means your kaf. Your slap is going to be so powerful, you're going to remove his face. Khla, remove. And it's so juicy, powerful. So, if you ever feel like the backhand slapping someone, then you have you have problems. You have you know you might be abusive. With that aside, um, you can use that expression. Now, if instead you don't want a chlau kaf, you can also tami atli, tami atli. Since everything has to do with food in Lebanon, tame atli means to feed a beating. But the tamek atli. And in Lebanon, it kind of sounds cute. You say that to your kids, but the tamek atli. But it really means I'm gonna feed you a beating. It's everything but cute. And the, the, the funny thing about atli is that it sounds like atil, which means to kill. So it's almost like you're telling the person, I'm gonna feed you death. Okay, here's a funny one. Shufi mafi. Shufi mafi. What is there that isn't there? So this is basically the equivalent of what's up, which if you think about it doesn't make any more sense. What's up? Shufi mafi in a way is like saying what's what's happening? What's what is there? What's not there? Talk to me. It's almost as crazy as the Mexican que pedo, que pedo way, que pedo what fart. What, 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 what's up is what fart. I like the subtle sarcasm. I relate to it as a Lebanese. Me gusta. Next. Walao. Walao. Literally that means, and if, and if. Which translates as, seriously? Walao. Next. Betaed. Betaed. Literally, it complicates. And it's a very positive term. It means, it's awesome. Betaed. You, if you're awesome, inta. Betaed. Like inta bata'id. You complicate. Because you're so cool, you're not just a simplistic thing. You're complex. Deeply evolved. Inta bata'id. Inta bata'id. Intu kilkon bata'ado. Nahna mana'id. Nahna libnanin. Ulaka mana'id. Bas dawli mishkir bata'id. With khari. That's what it does. By the way, if you want in depth Lebanese lesson, check out my Patreon. 10 bucks a month, and I teach you, and I teach you the best lesson every week. Fun, effective, with the accent come in. No, I'm kidding. But check it out, it's really fun. Next, and we need a moment for this, please. Yahre rafak. Literally, burn your shelf. Let that sit for a while. Just let that simmer a bit. Burn your shelf. See, we have one that's a bit more intense. Yahre rabbak. Burn your lord. Because, you know, it gets religious, so uh, pretty intense. But maybe the lighter version would be, well, try Rafak, which ends up meaning burn your shelf. Like, damn you. Or it can be positive, as in, like, you're so amazed by something. Damn, you're so awesome. Rafak. It's not a swear word, just a shelf. Next. No, it's not a bodybuilding competition. It literally means. Show me the width of your shoulders. It means turn around and get the hell out of my face. Let me see your back. Let me see the width of your shoulders. Walking away from me. I just, I love the sarcasm. It's just, it's delicious. Okay, here's a good one. Fik an samarabbe. Pretty intense. Fik. Unlock or release. An samarabbe. 
from the sky of my lord. Release from the sky of my lord. Perhaps you're a person of faith and you want this person under the blessing of the sky of your lord. You want to be released from the sight of this horrible, annoying person. And last but not least, a beautiful one, very uh, wholesome. Tanjara Wuleit Rata. A pen that has found its cover. It's soulmate stuff, it's beautiful. Either your best friend, something that was meant to be, or your soulmate. Tanjara Wuleit Rata. All right, there you go. A couple of funny, crazy Lebanese expressions for your delight. Don't forget to like share and comment if you have any more expressions in Lebanese, in Arabic, or whatever expressions you have in your culture. Let me know, I'm really curious. And like I said, if you want in-depth Lebanese lesson, head over to Patreon, link in the description. $10 a month, you get weekly videos of really effective, fun, and entertaining Lebanese lessons with yours truly. Intuitive and immersive style. Thank you for watching another Mark Ashton video, and as usual, ma salime. This is a rising picture. Duh.